Welcome to this video. In this video, we will introduce you to the concept of project management. To do this, we will define the term project. This will be followed up with an explanation of how projects are scoped and managed. One of the models used for doing this is the triple constraint model. In this video, we will explain the triple constraint model and how projects are scoped using this model. Finally, we will discuss projects lifecycle. These are the important stages of project management. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Before getting into the definition of project management, it is imperative that we define what is meant by a project. From our previous videos, we already defined the concept of operations and how they are managed. Projects are different from operations. Where operations refer to the management of ongoing business activities, projects refer to one off tasks or activities. Also, projects have a defined start point and end state, which pursues a defined goal or objectives and uses a defined set of resources, budget, or cost. Projects could be anything from constructing a building, finding the cure to old age, or even planning a trip to the moon. Irrespective of what the project is, once the objectives are achieved, the project ends or is complete. This is why we call projects a one off task. Now let's introduce you to the most basic and important model used in project management. This is the triple constraints model, also known as the iron triangle of project management. This framework is used for evaluating competing demands within a project. The model states that time, cost, and quality are all related. If one of these factors change, it will lead to a change in other factors in a defined and predictable way. In sum, when the project is scoped or managed using these constraints, it affects how long the project will take, how much it will cost, and how good the project deliverable will be. Now, let's go through each constraint and summarize what they mean for a project. Time. This refers to the time it takes to complete the project. Projects have deadlines or delivery dates and cannot continue indefinitely. If the project exceeds its delivery date, this could be tantamount to a failed project and could attract additional cost. This brings us to the next constraint. Cost. Cost usually refers to expenditures or resources such as hardware, people costs, and other overhead costs. It is worth noting that just like time, the project does not have access to a bottomless pot of money. This implies that the costs or resources allocated to the project is finite. Quality. Quality does exactly what it says. This is the minimum acceptable standard of the delivered project. The quality of the project is also defined by how well the project achieves its set objectives. Once the project is scoped, there are two main approaches or methodologies used in project management. These methodologies are the waterfall approach and the agile approach. The waterfall approach, also known as the traditional approach or the prints. This approach is used for projects in controlled environments. In this method, each group of tasks follows from the previous one. Every subsequent task cannot commence until the previous one is completed. Once the project starts, changes are often discouraged. Agile approach also known as the iterative approach. The project is broken into small tasks or iterations that make up the entire project. These tasks are completed in stages and feedback is provided at the completion of each task. Feedback from each task determines how the next stage or subsequent task will be completed. Adjustments are also made along the project if necessary. This approach to project management is highly flexible. Neither of these approaches to managing a project is better than the other as no one project is the same. The project and its objectives determines which approach is suitable. Apart from the understanding of what is meant by a project, there are other terms associated to projects that you should also bear in mind. These terms are programs and portfolios. Where projects are one-off tasks, a collection of tasks or projects that are usually related is called a program. A collection of programs usually unrelated is called a portfolio. To illustrate the difference between these terms, let's use the analogy of TV series. Depending on which part of the world, many are used to TV series. 
Each TV series have seasons, within each season are a collection of episodes which are mini stories. Now let's use these to make sense of the difference between a project, a program, and a portfolio. Each of the episodes that tell mini stories are similar to projects. The collection of episodes make up a season just as a collection of projects make up a program. As for the entire TV series that contain different seasons of different stories, are similar to a collection of programs which make up a portfolio. Now that we have introduced you to what is meant by the term project, it is good that we provide a clear definition for the term project management. In this video, we define project management as the activity of defining, planning and controlling, and learning from any type of project. It is also concerned with effectively balancing of quality, time, and cost objectives within the iron triangle, that is, the triple constraint. Now that we have a definition for project management, it is good we introduce you to project's life cycle. There are four stages in the life cycle of a project. These stages are initiation, planning, execution, and closure. Now let's go through each stage one after the other and discuss what happens in each stage. Initiation. At this stage, a business need, opportunity, or a problem is identified. Once identified, the objective of the project is clearly defined and the feasibility of the project is determined. This is where the duration of the project and its cost is determined. The major project deliverables is clearly identified at this stage. This is what is referred to as the scope of the project. This is also the stage where the stakeholders of the project are identified and mapped. The triple constraints framework is particularly useful at this stage of the project. Planning. At this stage, teams are built, and a work breakdown of the entire project into smaller manageable tasks is carried out. Each task are then allocated to different teams and budgeted. Time is also allocated to each of these tasks. The time and budget allocated to each task, when cumulated should fall within the budget and time frame of the entire project. Examples of useful project management tools at this stage are Gantt charts, network diagrams, work breakdown structure and so on. Execution. At this stage, this is where the plan is turned into action. In this stage, the controlling of the project is carried out. This is where the project manager ensures that the project is on track as planned and carefully manage the timelines for the project tasks. Depending on the project management approach used in the execution stage, regular meetings are also required so that the project manager can get feedback on the progress of each stage of the project. Closure. This is the final stage of the project lifecycle. This is where the final deliverables of the project are provided and the success of the project is determined. An evaluation of what worked and what did not work during the project's life cycle will also be reviewed. It will also be checked if the objectives of the projects identified at the initiation stage were achieved. If these have been achieved, then we say the project was a success. This is what we call the life cycle of a project. So what have we learned so far about project management in this video? Let's provide a summary of the key points discussed. First, we defined what projects are. We defined a project as a one-off task that have defined objectives and is constrained by time and a budget. Second, we introduced you to the triple constraints of projects which is also called the iron triangle. The triple constraints of project management are time, cost, and quality. Where time refers to how long the project will take, cost refers to the limited budget for the project. As for the quality of the project, this refers to the project deliverable which is aligned with the project objectives. Third, we then defined the concept of project management. We defined project management as the defining, planning and controlling, and learning from projects. It also involves balancing the quality or outcome of the project, with time and cost. Finally the project life cycle was discussed. We identified four stages which are, initiation, planning, execution, and closure. Initiation is the stage that defines the project objectives and scope. The planning stage is the stage that breaks the entire project into easy-to-manage tasks with time and cost allocation. 
The execution stage is the stage where the plan is brought into action, and the closure stage is the stage where resources are retired and the entire project is evaluated to ensure the objectives were achieved. That will be all for this video. Thank you for watching and we hope we have been able to introduce you to the world of project management. Are there any concepts of operations and supply chain management or project management you will like us to explain using our videos? Please leave a comment below to let us know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. We hope to see you in the next video.